Here's another story that we're following for you. The Senate has now convened. Next hour, they will begin the votes on Judge Gorsuch's confirmation. Senator Kelly Ayotte joins us now. Senator, uh, thank you very much for joining us on an exceptionally busy day. Yes. Um, you shepherded, shepherded um, Judge Gorsuch through the nomination process. You mm -hmm. took him to see various senators. You must be a little worried, a little concerned, when Democrats now turn around and say, the man's not mainstream. We're not going to vote for him. Yeah, Stuart, I think um, the judge and I visited almost 80 senators. Uh, so I can assure you, uh, the judge is very mainstream. In fact, he has support across the political spectrum, including President Obama's former solicitor general, highest rating from the ABA, been on the 10th Circuit for 10 years, so well respected. And I think the bottom line is, Stuart, it's clear that they would have blocked whomever President Trump yep. nominated because Judge Gorsuch is exceptional. It seemed like it was a tit for tat. Merrick it, Garland yes. will take him. He didn't get it. So, but it looks like the nuclear option is going to be played. In other words, it's going to be a straight majority vote to approve Judge Gorsuch. How do you feel about that? Looking forward mm -hmm. into the future, because it could come back to bite Republicans at some point down the road, couldn't it? I think it's unfortunate uh, that we are here, but I think the Republicans are being not left with no choice because the Democrats have essentially blocked such a qualified nominee, and they want to tie the president's hands in terms of making sure that a Republican president can fill the Supreme Court position. So I think that the Republicans aren't left with a choice. I think Leader McConnell's made clear that he does not want to change the rules for legislation, but I think they'll still be pressured to do that going forward.